Hi everybody, it's Christina from cardmakingmagic.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these folded paper shirts. It's an easy little project to do but they can be added to your cards or they can be used as invitations just by themselves. Now the thing to remember when you're making the shirts is because they're small you need to keep your pattern small on your paper otherwise it will be lost in the, in the shirt when it's folded. It doesn't matter what size paper you use, the folds are still the same. So let's start with the little flowery one. Okay, if you turn it over you're going to fold it in half. And if you open it out, you're going to fold each side in half again, up to the join. And this is where a bone folder can come in handy because it will give you nice sharp creases. So do the same on the other side. So once you've folded the paper, you need to open it out again. And now we're going to bring this point down to this first fold. So you're just going to fold it down and do the same on both sides. And when you've done that, close it back up. Now just beyond the V, you're going to fold the paper and make a nice sharp crease in it. And then open it out again. Now we're going to take this point down to this corner, this outer edge. So as you do that, you'll notice that the paper starts to fold up and you're going to do the same with the other side. You're going to bring that point down to this edge and crease it nice and sharply. And now, as you can see, the paper starts to fold. So now you're going to encourage this. You're going to make the paper fold out and you're going to crease it nice and sharply. Now if you flip the paper over and go to the top, you're going to fold over the top part by about one and a half centimetres, if you like to measure, but just fold it over so that you've got a nice um, crease there. Okay, and then flip the paper back, so you're now working with the folded part to the back, and all you're going to do now is bring this outer point to this centre line and then you're going to crease it right the way down there and you're going to do exactly the same with the other side. Bring it into the centre and fold it down and then crease it nice and sharply. See? So now we've got that basic shape. Now if you bring the bottom end up and tuck it under the flaps there and when you're happy with that crease it again nice and sharp and there you've got your little shirt. So once you've made the basic shirt you can decorate it any way you want to suit whatever occasion you're making it for. There's a little shirt with a belt on it and I've used sequins for the buttons on this one. This is a smaller shirt with little diamante buttons on it. And this one I've made with a paper folded cummerbund and a bow tie for an invitation to a special party. And this one I've decorated with a tie at the front, I've made a little pocket and I've put a, a little label inside. And it says on the front, Dad, and when you open the shirt up, you've got happy birthday inside. And you can decorate these any way you want. They all open up, put your invitations in there. So there you've got a complete wardrobe of nice, pretty little shirts. <laughs> 